It is sorcery, grisly black magic from the grim youth of the world. An awful shape has risen out of the shades of the past, and none can stand before it. Few enemies are as recognisable within the world of Conan Exiles as the Kinskirch. Clad in blackened plate with a horned helm, he strikes an intimidating visage, but where exactly did he come from? Or perhaps, more importantly, what is he? Eons before we set foot in the Exiled Lands, the Silent Legion were a unit of elite warriors, serving under the giant kings that previously ruled over the land. Among them was Tyros the Deathbringer, a half-human, half-giant son of the Priest King. Tyros was raised in violence, spending his years in the arena and eventually becoming the first to single-handedly slay a dragon, the same dragon that now resides in the sinkhole. Though it has clearly long since been slain, evident from the constricted, mummified flesh now giving way to bone, the dragon's remains were reanimated much later on. After Tyros had slain it in the arena, he wept over the corpse of the dragon, the mightiest dragon the giant kings had created. He pinned the prize of his victory, the star of the champion, to the corpse, and the beast was buried within the sands of the arena. Many years later, this noble gesture would see the dragon's remains resurrected to stalk the arena once more. Later in life, Tyros the Deathbringer became the commander of the Silent Legion. After many years of a decaying coalition between the Giant Kings and the Lemurians, Tyros was tasked with leading the Giant King's armies against the humans in war. In a great battle, he led his armies to capture the outpost of Zulan from the Lemurians. It was just south of Zulan that Tyros met and eventually fell in love with Teleth, the daughter of the Witch Queen. Together they had a child named Zalthar, and his love for her caused Tyros to rebel against the giant kings that had guided him through his life thus far. In the later stages of his rebellion, he met his own father in combat at the Mounds of the Dead. The Priest King would fall to Tyros at the Mounds, however, the victory was bittersweet. The death of the Priest King caused Tyros and his compatriots in the Silent Legion to be cursed with eternal life. The Priest King, also known as the Priest King of the Triumvirate during his life, was the spiritual leader of the Giant Kings and a fanatic to Set. He held a deep, burning hatred for humans, though he did at one point impregnate a human, resulting in the birth of Tyros. The Priest King had dabbled in the Eldritch Arts for many years, and was known for leading rituals to summon entities from the Outer Dark at the summoning place. In his death, the curse he placed on his son Tyros was likely derived from that same eldritch origin. 
as the curse was placed, the undead dragon rose once more from the sands of the arena, and Tyros was branded as the Kin Scourge. His once pristine armour was now marked with script no person could decipher, and bore an unholy chill. After the death of the Priest King, the waves of time washed over the exiled lands over and over again, and took Teleth and Zalthar with them. Tyros was forced to watch everyone he knew pass on, knowing that he would never join them, eventually sending him mad. Even worse, his armour was also cursed to remind him of the past tragedies he'd endured. Each armour piece whispers to Tyros, recanting the name of his love, the tragedy of the Witch Queen, and taunting him as the Kin Scourge. When we eventually meet him in the Black Keep, it's unclear of how many eons he's been there for. His less armoured combatants in the Silent Legion are undead husks, driven by a taste for war, and Tyros is likely the same beneath his armour. Even as we defeat him in combat, he cannot rest. Ripping the heart from his chest, it is still beating, the curse continuing to live on. Alongside that still beating heart, he also drops the tears of two races. Even in what should be his death, he knows he will persist longer, and perhaps this tear is the final remnant of his memories of Teleth, the last shred of humanity left inside the Kin Scourge. Tyros the Kin Scourge's story is a terrible one, wrought with agony. His eternal life has sent him mad, and the armour that once protected him now taunts him ceaselessly. The giant kings have largely disappeared from the lands in the millennia that have swept over it, with only the Warmaker remaining truly alive deep in the unnamed city. Even in death, Tyros will never be free. The terrible curse invoked by his own father ensures that death can never release him from his agony. So Tyros will now endlessly reside in the Black Keep, his undead husk holding his armour upright, his mind long since lost to the echoes of time. Thank you very much for watching, if you have enjoyed this lore video and would like to see more do let me know in the comments below. Thanks to of course our patrons, and again, thank you for watching. Take care, and I'll see you soon.